Six mass shootings in just one weekend. And yet again, in America, at least 14 people are dead. We have complete coverage tonight, including the latest on the shootings coming up in the news hour. But first, the latest on the racist murder rampage here in Buffalo. The city's police commissioner joins us. CNBC's Perry Russell reports from outside the jail where officials are holding the suspect. But first, CNBC's Shamari Stone is here reporting on the victims. What more have we learned about them? Well, today was just a very devastating time for people who live in this predominantly African-American community, Shep. Many of them are sad. They're angry. They're filled with anger, trying to understand why this happened. We're learning more about the victims in this case, and many of them tell us they're upset. He had to kill me like that. Tremaine Bryce is filled with agony. Remembering his close friend, 32-year-old Roberta Drury. She leaves the house to buy food for dinner at the Topps Friendly Market. The suspected shooter steps out of his car and shoots her in the head. Her lifeless body lying on the ground. She's not going to come home no more. She's not going to come down the street no more. Drury helped care for her brother, who is recovering from cancer. She was a good, caring person that she always going to tell the truth, and she was loving. Aaron Salter, the store's security guard and retired Buffalo police officer. Pearlie Young, a mother, grandmother, who ran a food pantry for years. Catherine Macy, a community activist who used to write for the Buffalo News. Hayward Patterson, a church deacon. Celestine Cheney, a breast cancer survivor. Many of the victims were parents, grandparents, sisters, and brothers. Ruth Whitfield, the oldest victim at 86, was on her way from visiting her husband in a nursing home and stopped by the supermarket. We're not just hurting, we're angry, yeah. we're mad. Her family breaking down in tears at a news conference. Took away my mother and my best friend. How dare you, how dare you. Now, this community is still reeling with grief. In fact, one woman told me she's scared to go to a supermarket, Chef. Yeah, I know a lot of people here have a lot of fear. Shamari Stone, thanks so much.